behind, right? <coughs> okay, uh, welcome everybody uh, today in slightly different setup. I'm using webcam on, on the uh, MacBook Pro uh, and built-in mic, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully sound is not that terrible and picture is not that terrible either. And we're solving the grant of code, uh, we're solving this routine today. Uh, let's get into it. And I have chat open, like yesterday I forgot to look at the chat, sorry about that if you wrote something, but I have it open on the screen today, so I'll see everything. Bam, 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 bam. Transport to origami, oh my god, origami, oh, that's, that's bad. But that's a possibility to work with Skia, right? Okay, you reach another local camera, blah, 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 I shall seem to be with this thermal camera. Uh, apparently, Elves has never used this feature. To your surprise, you managed to find the manual. As you go open, page one holds out. It's a large sheet of transparent paper. Okay, it's transparent paper. Okay. The transparent paper is marked with random dots and includes instructions on how to fold uh, your puzzle input, for example. Okay, uh, let's copy this and call it Okay, um, save uh, the 13 example. Okay. It seems not that bad. Uh, I don't want to go into inputs. Save it here. Um, we also have this. Uh, this is stored here. And we use it. So I think I already understand what needs to be done. So it uh, you you start with this array and basically you like fold. So basically you select some line and mirror what you have at the bottom to what you have at the top, right? Instruction indicates a line on the transparent paper and wants you to fold the paper up for horizontal. Y or left for vertical X. In this example, first one section along Y equals seven. Uh, line for Y seven marked is uh, because this horizontal line folds the bottom half up. Some of the dots might end up overlapping after the fold is complete, but dots will never appear exactly on the fold line. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven line seven is still stays. Okay, result of doing this folds looks like this. So on the 17 dots are visible. Uh, in the bottom left corner before the transparent for the fold. After the fold is complete, it disappears in the top left corner. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the dots are not remain visible, it can be seen through transparent paper. Also notice some dots can end up overlapping. In this case, the dots merge together and become single dot. Okay, okay, so hmm, yeah, sure. Um, the second fold instruction is fold along x equals 5, which indicates this line uh, because the transparent pair is pretty big, so for now, focus on just completing the first fold. After the first fold in the example above, 17 dots are visible, those and that end up overlapping after the fold is completed. Count as single. Okay. Okay, and I assume like first fold, then every fold, right? But uh, it is fairly easy. Uh, let's say, let's try to parse function again mm. so dots will be input so what we need is mm, 30, 30 plus like 
this, right? Um, I just wonder. Okay, so okay. So what we need is we take input, right? We do this. Uh, we map uh, next because we don't care about the full expression, only care about the next two and then we map well actually you know what we can map a frame x y uh, like this parse long x parse long y like um, yes and what we want is to make a set, I guess. Okay, uh, this would be this would be right. And I'm thinking into like maybe we can rewrite this as transducer. Two um, x form from. Okay, so actually we can rewrite this as transducer so because we there's no need to create lazy sequences right intermediate lazy sequences I mean so we can use this and use this and now we get the same result but without intermediate sequence so we get a set of from um, dots I think that's all we need ah no no and we need folds of course yeah okay so folds are I I'm not sure how her e seek works, but let's say mm -hmm. it kind of works. Okay, so it uh, scans everything and finds what we need. Okay, so. So folds are going to be list scan f. Um, I don't know. If is there a scan f enclosure? Um, I don't know. No idea. I like regular expressions. <laughs> uh, well, if it is uh, in closure, it's probably is in, from comes from Java, and Java. Oh, we can Google, right? There is format, okay, and I know format can be used for printing, but I'm not not sure. Okay. Yeah, you can parse text from beginning to the infinity position of the position string. Okay, yeah, so you can do something like that. But I'm not sure like if you need multiple values so what does it return like array or what? Parse object. We can uh, try on Java text format. Uh, let's say percent D percent D, right? And pass object like this. Mm. Format. How do you get format? Okay, you don't get format like this. Number format. No, well, I think it's no wait. There is format. There's, there must be different formats because I remember message format. Or maybe. 
give you a message for that. Hmm. Ah, anyways. Yeah, I agree. If you, if you don't have to cast, uh, yeah, casting is weird. Okay, so how do we? Access is a single, right? Okay, seems alright, right? And now what we do is we implement a function called fold and basically it takes dots, axis and chord, right? And what it does is uh, basically say reduce, we take dots um, we start with a new set and basically what we do is uh, write a function that take dots um, x, y, right? So let's say we fold on y uh, axis in case x is y punish mm, dots or we can call it calculator if bigger uh, y, um, y than core then what, how do we calculate it? Um, like, um, like this, right? So it means that, for example, we have um, like this is zero, this is fourteen ish. This is seven. So, so like um, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this is a coordinate like from starts from zero. Um, so say we have eight and eight like seven multiple two minus minus eight seems right. Okay, um, otherwise just big. Alright, right, we either keep the dot or flip it. Um, No, 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 what, what the fuck? No, this is wrong. Yeah, we might move it to... Ok, 
okay so this is our fault and uh, let's say so what we do here Basically, we return is count of fault um, dots first faults. Yes. And example we get 17, which is correct. And 68. Boom. Correct. So this was easy. This was easy. Uh, finish loading the transparent paper according to the instructions. The manual says code is always eight capital letters. What code do you use to activate? Let me try to remember. Okay, okay. So we fold, uh, and then I assume we print um, print the picture, right? Okay, this is becomes interesting, but. Okay, so what we need is we basically do the same, right? Uh, we say dots is uh, reduce dots uh, fault, fault, uh, oh, basically fault. Okay, so fault, our fault is what we need. And like we can see what the result is. Now we what we have to do is print kind of right. Uh, so let's print dots dots let max x is going to be reduce max um, or trans use max uh, map second um, that's or uh, map first that's like this is max x this is max y second okay and now we y is going or even do times y max y x no um do times x max x um uh, if dots x y print we can print this block drawing characters, box drawing characters, right? Uh, box drawing, geometric shapes. There is full block somewhere. Otherwise, we print, let's print this. So we like have some. Uh, Okay, this is what we do, and we print dots. dots. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, can use this for airplane color to serve as the sub. I am just learning transducers, so forgive me for this. Okay. Okay, so it should have printed. Mm, yeah. Yes, it prints square, and in this case, it prints C J C K C J C K B A P B. Yay! It's it is a cool task, I would say. 
it's a cool task yeah uh, how do we integrate it into our automatic test system i wonder because like if around right now everything prints numbers but in this case yeah, it prints stuff like that mm. maybe maybe we don't we got to test here and we say is b string buffer i don't remember which one of them is uh, Better string builder, I think is one other, right? String builder, I think. Builder. Um, we can also, I think, allocate max x, max y. And we need, of course, to see, I put a ink here. Uh, actually, we also will need slash n for each line, so actually max y, uh, max x plus 1. This is capacity that we need, um, and let's append, so it's append, so it's b, um, if dot succeed x y this and the y this right and what we do here is we before each line we append to xm and this will align everything in the way Yeah, because I forgot to return this. Okay, so it returns something, right? But if we print this, we'll get we need. Hmm. Interesting, we get one extra line for some. Oh, I forgot to remove this. Okay. Okay, we get what we need. And if we run it here, we get nice little print. Um, 45, okay. And we have reflection, right? Um, no reflection. Okay. Uh, that's the import open C. Uh, I'm not sure what open C is. Okay. Ah, computer vision, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Okay, uh, let's commit this. And since we solved it so fast, maybe we'll do something else. It was a fun task and not, not very demanding. I enjoyed it very much today. Okay, boom. Let's look at our overview. So we are further than any year before, except for 2000. Let me stop recording and start again.